in this video we are going to discuss about ls command ls stands for listing let us see the advantage of ls command it is used to list all the files and directories present in the given directory in alphabetical order so by using ls command we can display all the files and sub directories which are present in the given directory in alphabetical order alphabetical order means first the files starting with numbers will get printed next the files starting with the file names starting with upper case letters will get printed next the file names starting with lower case letters will get printed let us see the syntax here ls space directory so here the name of the directory is directory 1 if we specify a directory name then ls command will list all the files and sub directories which are present in the directory directory 1 let name of the directory is directory 10 then if we uses ls space directory 10 then it will displays all the files and sub directories which are present in directory 10 let us see the second syntax suppose if we don't specify any directory name here we don't have any directory name ls if we don't specify any directory name then it will list all the files and sub directories present in the current working directory suppose if the directory name is omitted then all the files and sub directories which are present in current working directory will get printed so let us see practically now uh, ls uh, here we have these files are there so first the files starting with numbers got printed here we have two files starting with numbers so first those are printed next the files starting with upper case alphabets will be printed so first fi in file 1 f is upper case letter in file 2 f is upper case letter so that's why these two files are printed next here for directory uh, next the files starting with lower case alphabets we gets printed the file starting with lower case alphabets here we have small d uh, in directory 1 directory 2 small d is the lower case alphabet in file uh, here d f d f h all are lower case letters only in alphabetical order so first we got directory 1 next directory 2 next to file next to file 2 next to high so likewise we got the output now let us see the options here uh, there are several options are there let us see all the options one by one the first major important option is ls hyphen l l stands for long listing l stands for long listing so it will display all the files and directories in long listing form in long listing form so let us display that so ls space hyphen l then if we observe here so in long listing form we will get the output so this is one column this is the second column third column fourth column fifth column so likewise we have six columns are there let us see all the columns one by one one by one here the first column this hyphen specifies type of the file type of the file uh, for ordinary file the type is hyphen whereas for the directory the type is d if we observe here for the directory the type of the file is d next the next nine are file permissions these nine are called as file permissions we will have nine permissions are there r stands for read w stands for write x stands for execute the first three permissions are belonging to the owner the next three permissions are belonging to the group the next three permissions are belonging to the execute permission so totally we have nine permissions are there this one specifies number of links so for the corresponding file for the file 2 we will have only one one link is there if we want we can create a number of links with the help of ln command next the next column specifies owner or user so owner or user of my account is sudhakar achana next column specifies group so group name is sudhakar achana let us assume that we are working in a college lab let the lab, in a lab we have 90 systems are there then what we can do is 
the corresponding 90 systems are divided into three groups where each group contains 30 systems we can do like that and the next column specifies what is the creation or uh, when that file was created creation time file creation time or last modified time so file creation time or last modified time and the last column specifies name of the file name of the file so this is about uh, l option now let us see the next option the next option is hyphen r small r if you use a small r then what we have is r stands for reverse it will displace all the files and directories in reverse order of the alphabetical order so generally what will happen first the file starting with numbers will get printed next upper case files will get printed lower case file names files will get printed whereas in reverse order it will get printed so first the lower case files will get printed next upper case files next numbers files will be get printed let us see that so ls hyphen r ls hyphen r so if you observe here so first we got the files starting with lower case letters next we got the files starting with upper case letters next we got the files starting with uh, numbers so this is the advantage here this is the advantage here now let us see the next option the next option is minus t here t stands for time so it will displace all the files and directories based upon the file creation time or last modified time based on the file creation time or last modified time so new files will get printed first whereas old files will get printed last so let us see the output here so ls minus t so here time won't get printed if we want uh, if we want the time then we have to use the long listing form if we observe here the first file that is directory 1 is created on june 7th 1450 45 time next file is created on june 7 927 next file created on june 6 so new year files will be created first whereas older files will be created last so this is the advantage here older files will be displayed last next one is hyphen ltr so if we can use the combinations here l stands for long listing form time stands for based upon the time r stands for reverse r stands for reverse if we combine the previous three options hyphen ltr then what will happen is oldest files or directories will be displayed at the top why because r stands for reverse order in the reverse order of the time creation we will get the output whereas the most recently files should be displayed at the bottom so let us see that so ls hyphen ltr if we observe here if we observe here so this is the old file so this is the old file so directory 2 uh, is created on may 31st so next on june 6 1256 123 is created so here what is happening oldest files will be displayed first whereas new year files will be displayed last this is the advantage of hyphen ltr command so next one hyphen small a here a stands for all the files a stands for all the files it will display all the files including the hidden file so what is hidden file every hidden file begins with dot symbol every hidden file begins with dot symbol dot bash underscore history so this dot here we have a dot so this is a hidden file this is hidden file this is hidden file this is hidden file if a file is beginning with dot symbol this is called as hidden file so if we use a minus a option then what will happen it will displace all the files including the hidden files here we will have two more files called dot already we have seen about dot in cd command so dot means cd space dot means we will be at current working directory only where a cd space dot dot means we will be navigated to its its parent directory its parent directory so ls hyphen a means it will displace all the files in including the hidden files it will displace all the files including the hidden files so in order to count how many files are there we can use a command like this ls space hyphen a means we will get all the files totally how many files are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 into 2 means 16 16 plus 1 means 17 so ls minus a means we will get these 17 files 
here this is called as pipe symbol what is the advantage of the pipe symbol for the pipe the left hand side means input right hand side means output so pipe symbol will takes the input from the left side and it will provide it as input to its right hand side command so what is the pipe symbol left hand side 17 files so those will be given to the those will be given as input to its right hand side command wc minus l so now it will counts the number of lines so how many lines are there 17 so we will get that output and the next command is ls hyphen capital a so if you what is capital a capital a stands for almost all it will displays all the files including the hidden files except dot and dot dot so this is the major difference between yeah hyphen a hyphen small a and hyphen capital a so small a means dot 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 will also gets printed whereas capital a means dot 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 won't gets printed let us see here so ls space ca hyphen capital a so if you observe here we don't have dot and dot dot we don't have dot and dot dot so let us count here let us count the number of li lines here previously we we got 17 lines so now dot 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 so we have to subtract 2 so 17 minus 2 means 15 so we will get 15 as the output now let us see the next command next option ls space hyphen f hyphen capital f if you use as capital f then what will happen is it will displays based upon the file type if there is a directory then it sends with forward slash symbol if there is an executable file it ends with asterisk symbol if it is a link file then it ends with at the rate symbol it ends with at the rate symbol so let us work this command now uh, so ls space capital f so here we have only only a directory so that's why here the directories are ending with forward slash let us move to the home directory so cd space uh, uh, tilde symbol Uh, let us work that option one more time here. So ls hyphen f. So here also we have same options. Uh, now we are at the root directory. We are at the root directory. Uh, so now let us work with this, that command. Ls space hyphen f. If you see here, so here this file is ending with at the rate. If the file ends with at the rate, then it is called as link file. Here if you observe here, etc is a directory. Home is a directory. So that's why they are ending with forward slash in it in it is ending with star so this is an executable file so if you want to display the files based upon the type then we uses this symbol then we uses this symbol okay so this is the advantage of hyphen capital f hyphen capital f now we are at which directory uh, we are at home directory now let us move to our uh, account our account so now we are at our user account user account so with this ls hyphen capital a so uh, seven options are over uh, now let us see the next option uh, the next option is ls hyphen small f if you use a small f option then what will happen is it list out all the files including the hidden files by disabling the colors actually by default the directories will be displayed in blue color if you use a hyphen small f option then all them will be displayed in white color only the colors will be disabled so that is the advantage here so previously if you see the output directory is got displayed in which color blue color if you use a ls space hyphen then it is displaying all the files including the hidden files but everything will be displayed in blue uh, white color only so that means all the colors will be disabled if you see here directory 1 directory 2 they also got printed in white color only so it disables the colors now let us see the next option the next option is hyphen small i so what is the advantage of i if we want to display the files with i node then we use as hyphen i option small i option what is i i stands for index node so what is the advantage of the index node generally every file we have some attributes such as a file we have a file name it has some size it has number of links and the file creation time and the last modified time so likewise every file will contain some attributes all the attributes are stored in an address called i node so all the file attributes will be stored in an address called i node so if you want to display the file with the i node address we have to use ls hyphen i option 
so here this is nothing but one two three five so one two three i know address is this address so here this is nothing but directory two so directory two i know address is this address so this is the advantage of hyper small i option uh, next one is hyper capital r already we have seen about smaller option if you use a smaller option then in the reverse order of the alphabetical order all the files will get printed whereas if you use a capital r then it recursively list all the files and subdirectories so we know what is recursive order recursive order so ls space hyper r so if you observe here so we got the output like this okay so initially so initially we got all the files and directories in directory 1 we we we, we have directory 2 in directory 2 we have directory 3 in directory 3 we have directory 4 in directory 4 we have directory 5 so likewise all, we can display all them in uh, recursive order recursive order means uh, sub directories again that sub directory contains some directory all that will be printed so this is the advantage of uh, uh, capital r option now let us see capital s capital s means it displays all the files by sorting the size by sorting the size by sorting the size If you see here, ls hyphen yes, ls it is better to use uh, yellow option so that we will get the size also. So if you observe here, so first the directory size is four zero nine six, so it it is having highest size. So first it is printed. So directory two size is also four zero nine six. So next it got printed. So by default for a directory, what will happen is four KB of data will get allocated. So four blocks of memory will get allocated. Where one block is equal to 1024, where one block is equal to 1024 bytes. So we can totally store 4096 bytes or 4096 characters in the directories. Uh, here we got we we have created high file. So the size of the high file is 380 characters or 380 bytes. The size of the file is the size of the file is 28 characters or 28 bytes. Okay, 28 bytes. Okay. So if you want to display all the files. In sorted order, in descending order, then we can use as the capital S option. Now let us see the next one. Hyphen H. If we use as hyphen H, what will happen is in human readable form we will get the output. Here, what is four zero nine six? Four zero nine six is nothing but four blocks. Four blocks. So we will get that output. L S minus H L. So if you observe here, so four zero nine six means four kilobytes. So one kilobyte means ten twenty four bytes. So four into ten twenty four means four zero nine six. So in human readable form, we will get the output. Here human readable form means this one four kilobyte four kilobyte. This is nothing but human readable form. Let us see the next option. The next option is hyphen D. D stands for directories. If we want to display only directory attributes, then we can use this option. L S space hyphen D. Uh, for long listing, use L D. So all the directories information will get printed here. So the type of the file is D. The next nine are permissions. Next one is uh, link. Only one link is there. Owner Sudha Karachala. Group Sudha Karachala. Uh, next one size four zero nine six and creation time. This dot specifies that we are at current directory. So this is about uh, ls command and the various options which we can use in the ls command.